Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm your host Buckning and today we are going to go through the portfolio. I know I missed last week but we are going to make it up for this week here and show you the purchases for the past two weeks including today which is Friday June 2nd and then you'll see this video on June 3rd which is Saturday which is today. And so we'll give you an update on the portfolio. We'll show you the updates on trackyourdividends.com for the two weeks and then also share site um, show you what has changed over the past two weeks. And so we'll just get right into it. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is where we put $100 a week into a tax-free savings account to build a dividend portfolio right in front of your eyes. And if you're not new, welcome back. And so on the day here, the portfolio is now worth $18,656.66. It was up $242.69 on the day, up 1.32%. For the one week, we were up $286.71, up 1.56%. For the one month, we we're up $81.95, up 0.44%. And for the three months, we we're down $600.50 down 3.12%. For the one year though, we are down $249.56, down 1.32%. I said that like it was gonna be in the positive, but it's in the negative. Um, but for the all, we are up $1,340.71, up 7.74% since starting this portfolio. As you can see, we have $1.50 left in the cash account. And so I'm gonna show you the buys that we did. But just so you are aware, as you can see, I'm not scrolling down on the phone um, because we did purchase a new position. And now this position is not um, by surprise. Um, I think for where I'm at, I think it's time to inject a little bit of growth into this portfolio. And, um, and what, about, what, I, what do I mean by that is adding a little bit of stocks that are more on the growth side of things than just strong dividends. Um, and so I've done that. And so the newest position here, as you can see, is Apple. Now, I don't really have much to say about Apple and no one really does. Great company, pays a small, small dividend. Um, but like I said, I'm injecting a little bit of growth into this portfolio, probably a bit more growth. And, and I want part of that in this portfolio. And so that's what we did. It's still a dividend paying stock um, and a dividend paying company. And so, yeah, Apple, everyone knows who they are. Um, ticker symbol APPL. We have 1.1258 of shares, position value of $203.71. Our average price of getting in is 177.84 and holds about 1.5% of the portfolio. Now, today's return says it's up 6,047%. That is completely wrong because I'm buying fractional shares. Um, and the total return is $3.51 up 1.51%. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you both the buys on this one here. So on May 26, two weeks ago, um, we purchased 0.5721 of a share at the price of 175.055, and it cost $100.15 US. Total cost was 138.99. Now for this week today, um, we purchased 0.5537 of a share at the price of $180 US. Um, and the cost was $100.06 US. Total cost Canadian was $136.98. And so that is the newest position for the portfolio, but I will continue to purchase this position to build it up a little bit. Um, and some might say this is a frothy stock, um, a frothy company. Yes, it is a frothy company, but the stock, is it overpriced? Potentially, um, but long-term, right? If you're doing it long-term, if you're buying it long-term, then really there's nothing to worry about. I'm, I'm buying for future earnings. Um, and, and Apple is some sort of unicorn, definitely for sure. Um, and, and I don't see it going away. And, and some have their opinions, but you can leave them in the comment section. I'm sure you won't get a reply. So next uh, position we purchased was the Vanguard S&P 500. We buy this one every single week alongside with the $100 that we put in every single week. And we do buy fractional shares of this one. Um, same as Apple, because we're not getting enough dividends or enough cash going into the account to buy full shares of Apple. So VFV, fractional share, we put in $25 every single week. Today, it closed out at $102.20. And don't forget, this is the Vanguard S&P 500 index ETF. 
ticker symbol VFV. Uh, we have 21.4192 of a share, total position value of $2,189.04. Average price of getting in is $94.71. Uh, today's return was $77.52, up 3.67%, which is wrong because every time you buy fractional shares, that number is uh, off for sure. And then total return was 7.91% since starting this position at $160.43 of return. I'll show you the um, fractional buys on May 26. So we bought on May 26, which was a couple weeks ago, 0.245 share, uh, shares at $101.85, total cost $25. This week, June 2nd, we purchased 0.2441 of a share, cost $102.40, cost $25. And so those are the positions we purchased in the past two weeks. Uh, nothing really different there, just consistently making purchases uh, in the portfolio and now injecting some more growth into the portfolio and just getting a bit more exposure to the US market because we are, of course, heavy on the US, uh, the Canadian side, sorry. And of course, VFV is one, almost 100% US. Um, I, th I believe it is 100% US. And so there is exposure there as we build up that position, but we are gonna have a little bit of overlap and inject a bit more growth into the portfolio. And so heading over to trackyourdividends.com, completely free to use. Um, I'm gonna show you two weeks ago. I'm gonna show you this week. Um, and you're probably not going to see very much of a change. So as you can see on the screen here, um, this was two weeks ago before we updated the positions with um, VFV and Apple. Portfolio yield was 4.15%. Yield on cost was 4.38%. Annual income was $756. That's without the updated positions two weeks ago. When we added the positions, portfolio yield was now 4.12%. Yield on cost for us was 3 3.19%. And I think what happened was not sure why it went down so much, but annual income went up to 757 um, at that point. And I do believe that's the US thing. So I don't have that, but that's okay. Um, next, we'll come up to this week, update it again, portfolio yield 4.1%, yield on cost 3.22%. And I do believe it's because we did add Apple, which has such a small, small yield. So that's probably why, uh, yeah, now I'm thinking about it. That's why the yield jumped from 4.38 down to 3.19. And then this week back up to 3.22. Annual income went down. Um, and that's the thing with trackyourdividends.com. I don't know how accurate it is when you start entering the information, then it updates later. So went back to 756 with the updated positions this week, yield on portfolio yield 4.07, yield on cost 4.32%, another jump, weird. And then annual income, 757. That's for this week. This is why I'm not a big fan of using it. The only reason I use it is to see what the dividends amount I'm getting for the next month and, and so on and so forth. So um, yeah, I'm probably gonna switch it up. I hear for the Canadians, um, there's something called Blossom. I've seen it, I haven't signed up for it, um, but I probably will. And there's some new things coming down the road. So stay tuned for that. Um, so yeah. Let's head over to ShareSite now. This is two weeks ago, uh, just to give you an idea. The, I like ShareSite because it is accurate. It does provide capital gains, it does provide dividends and currency exchange with the facts that I have, with the fact that I have US positions in the portfolio taking currency into factor there for the total return of the portfolio. So two weeks ago, we were down 0.09%, down $16.62. Dividends up $283.81, up 1.54%. Currency gain up $4.43, up 0.02%. And then the total return um, a couple weeks ago was $271.62, up 1.48%. That is the performance of the portfolio. Of course, this week, um, capital gains up $83.89. Uh, up 0.45%. Dividends coming in at $296, sorry, $298.97, up 1.61%. Currency gain with the US positions down $40.73, down 0.22%. And total return was up $342.13, up 1.84%. And so those are the positions 
uh, that we purchased in the past two weeks. Those are the updates for the past two weeks. And uh, that's pretty much it for the video. So stay tuned for the next video when we update you guys on how much dividends we got paid for the month of May 2023. Um, and yeah, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay tuned after that video because I have something planned for the, the channel in general. Um, and I'll probably release a video on that and, and talk about some changes that are going to happen. So just a heads up. But yeah, we'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Bye.